Mobile Trader How to use the XM Android Phone Trader application part 1 In this video, we are going to demonstrate the complete set of steps to use the XM Android Trader application on your Android smartphone. After you log into the MT4 XM Trader platform, you will see the MT4 Mobile Trader interface. The MT4 Android interface consists of five main window tabs Quotes, Chart, Trade, History and News. Under the first tab, called Quotes, you can see the list of active currencies. The left side column represents the bid price, while the right side column represents the ask price. Let's start by clicking the Options button. Here you are presented with several options. At the bottom of this menu, you can see the About button. After this comes the Journal button, which lets you monitor all activities and actions taken such as trades, login and deposits. Next comes the Settings button, which takes you to the main Settings menu. At the top of the menu, you find the Advanced Mode section, which shows you the current spread of an instrument, the time when the price was last updated, and the high and low values of the market prices for that specific day. Let's enable this option to see the difference. Click on the Quotes tab to go back to the main Quotes section, where you can see that this option has been applied. Another method to access this option is by pressing and holding down on an instrument, for example, Australian dollar versus Canadian dollar, which makes a new mini action window pop up. From here you can easily toggle between simple and advanced mode. The next button from the options menu is messages. By clicking here you can access all your incoming messages. The accounts button takes you to the login options window. The plus symbol on the top right side of the window takes you to the login main options screen. Clicking the Symbols button takes you to the Symbols Display Order window screen, which displays a list of the current chosen instruments. Here you can either add or remove specific instruments from your main Symbols list. By pressing the plus symbol at the top side of the window, you will see the Symbol Selection window, which contains various symbol groups. By clicking any of these groups, you can view the contents of that specific group. Remember that if you click back, you will go one step back to the main selection section. In the main groups window, you also have the option to manually search for a specific instrument by clicking the magnifying glass icon. Let's search, for example, for Euro USD by typing it into the search field. You will see from the search results that the instrument has been found. If you wish to remove a symbol from your current symbol list, click the bin icon at the top side of the window. By doing so, the selection boxes will be enabled. This allows you to choose the instruments you wish to remove from your main symbols list. Once you tick the instruments for deletion, a number on the top left side appears next to the tick symbol, which signifies that one item is selected for deletion. After confirming your choice and pressing delete, you can see that the selected symbol has been removed from your main symbols list. Remember that if any symbol is currently active on the chart, it will not be possible to remove it from the list. To add a new symbol to your symbols list, click the plus icon at the top right side of the main symbols window. After you have found the symbol that you want to add, in our example this is Euro USD. Click it once. After this, it will be automatically added to your main symbols list. Clicking back, you will be redirected to the main quotes tab. Here you can see that the instrument previously removed is no longer available, and that the instrument that you have just added appears on the main symbols list. By clicking and holding on an instrument, you can see at the top of this list the new order button. This will be explained further on when we show you how to place an order. End of part 1. Thank you for watching.